Again, just as a refresher, the slight light is alarmed at 10% of the LEL, the medium amber light would be alarmed at 20% of the LEL, and the red alarm light would be alarmed at 40% of the LEL. So now we can put the test gas away, and I'll show you some of the other accessories that come with the gas track unit and how it's used in conjunction with the test purge and ventilate routine. You'll get a carrying case. It's a padded carrying case that allows you to easily store the gas track when not in use. Inside the carrying case, you'll also get a little earpiece. That will allow you to use the gas track in conjunction with the tick rate that I discussed previously in noisy locations. The earpiece plugs right into the back side of the gas track. And while I'm showing you that location, you also will notice that there's a low bat indicator. That's a low battery indicator. If the alkaline batteries were at the point where they're ready to be exhausted, that red LED would come on as an indicator to you to change the batteries. Again, batteries are located in this compartment. And just to show you what would be necessary to replace the batteries, very easy, take them out. Again, there are two double, excuse me, two D's and two double A's. Replace them with a fresh set of batteries and follow the little schematic that's inside the cover. That ensures that you polarize or place these in pro with the proper polarity. So I'll put my two double A's in. Make sure that they're firmly in place. Place my two D's in, again observing the proper polarity. Place the battery cover back on. Tighten it securely, and that's all there is to replacing the batteries. Turn my unit back on to make sure that everything is, again, electrically working properly. And I'll show you this other accessory that comes with the kit. This is an extension, extension handle adapter, which, when in use, will allow you to place an extension pole to the unit and do testing inside of the hole or other space from top side prior to entry. I'm just quickly showing you this now. I'm going to demonstrate it in a little bit more detail as we go through. So that's the other accessory that you get in your carrying case. Just locks into place and unlocks when you want to remove it and slides back off. Also in the unit, you're going to get a warranty card from UTEC that enables you to not only activate your warranty, but also lets us know where these units are located in the field. And that's kind of important for a couple of reasons. First of which is these units do require a yearly certification by a qualified professional. We do place a sticker over the unit to allow the user to see when the certification was last accomplished and when it's next due. Again, it's a yearly requirement. So by sending in this warranty card, we not only know where the units are located, but when the warranty, I mean the certification process is due. Also, we do provide an instruction manual for the user. We also can provide more specific training practices or safety training practices for different companies that utilize these units. If you are interested, please contact our customer service department at 1-800-542-7011 and we can work with you to develop a safety practice unique to your own company. So those are the accessories. I've showed you how the unit alarms both audibly and visually. I've showed you how to change the batteries shown you how to do the quick check kit test, and now let's talk about how you actually utilize the unit at a manhole site, for example.